Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to get this makeup look. I wanted to do something with purpose, but I didn't want it to be bold and intense. Just something soft and wearable. This is what I came up with. I hope you like it. And if you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. Okay, so first, as always, I'm starting off with a primer. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Eyeshadow Base. And I'm buffing it all over my eyelid with a brush. And then I'm setting it with a nude eyeshadow. I'm also applying a white pencil just in the outer corner, so the purple eyeshadow that I'm going to apply in a while will come out more intense. And I'm diffusing the edges with a flat brush. From the Makeup Revolution Eat Sleep Makeup Repeat palette, I'm taking the eyeshadow code Magician and I'm packing it on top of that white pencil. Make sure you don't apply it too inside the lid area. We want to keep it just in the other corner. On a blending brush, I'm taking this eyeshadow from the Catrice Absolute Rose palette. I'm using it to diffuse those harsh lines and also as my transition shade. Once I make sure that everything is well blended, I'm applying one more layer of that purple so it's nice and intense. And once again I'm blending everything out. To add more depth to the eyes, I'm applying a small amount of a black eyeshadow just in the very outer corner of my eye. And with a small brush, I'm blending it into the purple. Then in the inner part of my eyelid, I'm applying this light pinky shade. Going back to that Makeup Revolution palette, I'm using the eyeshadow code Rayvon to highlight my brow bone. And in the tear duct area, I'm applying the eyeshadow called Rave Off. Under my lower lash line, I'm going to apply a white pencil. And then on top of it, that purple eyeshadow. I'm keeping it in the outer portion. I'm also going to add some black. Then it's time for eyeliner and I'm using this Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. I'm coating my lashes with mascara and after that I'm going to glue on some false lashes. But before that I'm going to run some white pencil in my waterline. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys soon. Bye!